When I was a kid, my dad had this one rule, and that is go to bed by 9 p.m. It did not matter who came to the house, if it was my friends or his friends, everyone had to go to bed by 9 p.m. If you stayed in our house, 9 p.m., that's the time where everybody goes to sleep. And as a kid, I didn't question it. It was just like, okay, 9 p.m., I go to sleep, wake up the next day. But as an adolescent, as I started growing up, I felt like that was kind of ridiculous. Everything, the good things, the comedy specials, the late night shows, even in the movies, everything portrayed, just everything good happens late at night. And I started to break the rules a little bit more when I started to grow up. And then when I went to live on my own, I started to make my own schedule. And it was not 9 p.m. It was 10, 11. In college, I became an RA and my sleep schedule went out the window. I was going to sleep by 12 or 1 p.m. checking on people, maybe, you know, if they were loud or anything. I was going to sleep at late, late hours. I binge watch Netflix. I watch YouTube videos and just continue to use social media with everything that I I did. So about a month ago when I decided to quit social media, I quickly realized that the bad habit of checking my phone at night just for Facebook or Instagram could quickly become into checking the next video on YouTube or watching something on Netflix or listening to my playlist on Spotify. And that's not something that I wanted to do. So today I want to share with you three things that I do before going to bed that I think will increase your productivity. Number one, no phone or laptop in the bedroom. Having your phone or other screens on your bedroom will decrease your quality of sleep because of the blue light. On top of that, you will be checking your phone, text messages, WhatsApp, or watching YouTube videos, or whatever you like to do. So it can become really unproductive and it can become detrimental to your quality of sleep. But what to do about it when you are so used to it and you may find boredom if you don't have any electronics? Well, what I do is I place a book every morning when I wake up, I put it in my pillow. So when I come back and I have that urge to try to get my phone and check my text messages or whatever it is, I can replace it with a healthy habit. Number two, write your intentions on a small journal. So when I'm in bed and I'm ready to go to sleep, before I go to sleep, I make sure to pull out a really small journal that I have and I write my intentions. I write four things that I want to do and I want to accomplish the next day. I write one thing that I must do, one thing that I can do, one thing that I should do, and one thing that I wish to do. When it comes to these four things, now I have an intention for my day, and even though I may have a calendar, other appointments, flights, or everything else living on my phone, I can prioritize the things that are in the forefront of my head, and I can remember them real quick when I wake up in the morning. This little habit has increased my clarity of thinking and has allowed me to be more productive the next day. The third and final suggestion that I have for you is to set a final bedtime. While my dad's old rule of 9 p.m. may be a little bit impractical for you, for whatever reason, you may want to send a 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. or even a midnight schedule, but you need to go to sleep at that time. This will tell your body this is the final time, this is the sleep time, and it will create a rhythm so that you can wake up refreshed and productive the next day. I've set my time for 10 p.m. and I've told my friends and family to not disturb me after this time unless it's really crucial. You can even set it with a app like if this then that. I will link it down below so that you can try it. And when they text you after that time, they will receive a message saying, I am sleeping. If it's urgent, please call me. If it's not, please wait until the morning. This will create a boundary and you'll create peace of mind with it. So these are the three suggestions that I have for you to improve your nighttime habits and productivity. Thanks for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, remember that here we talk about digital minimalism, productive habits, and overall how to restore the balance between the digital world and the real world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.